Dragons 22, the Catalan Dragons 46. A brilliant performance, especially in the first half from the men from France in this one. Castleford Tigers, dearie me, it was a shocking first half display, scoring 22 points though at home, you'd expect them to at least be competitive, but there was just no answer at all for the sensational rugby league that was being shown in the first period. What? Well, where was this game won and lost? Well, first and foremost, the middle units. We've said quite a few times already this season, Castleford's pack not quite making the impact that it needs to, and in this game it was exactly the same. The middle unit of the Dragons, 711 metres, playing 452 for the Casper Tigers really were punching holes down the middle. But this game was really about execution. Every other key start in the game, tackles, tackle bus, clean breaks, you know, there was not an awful lot between it. But the execution of the Catalan Dragons in attack, especially in that first half, well, quite frankly, it was mouth-watering. Another brilliant, brilliant performance from Adam Kieran. This guy for me, you know, last week we were talking about Ikevaru, of course, went over for a try again today uh, uh, for, for, the, for the Dragons. But yeah, Kieran, again, you know, two tries in this one, five from six with the boot. He was instrumental in it, really playing some fine rugby league football. We really like him here at Super League Royals. He's having a great season, isn't he? And uh, many congratulations must go to him for that. Uh, Johnson, another try for him. Uh, so he'll uh, he'll be happy with that. A typical Johnson try in the corner. But what was really interesting about this, halftime, 34 points to six. Nine levels gets injured just before halftime. And I think I think about five, maybe six minutes into the second half, Gareth Widdop goes off the field with an ankle problem and isn't it quite ironic that Castleford won the second half 16 points to 12 now I mean you know we've been saying all year Widdop is not playing well for Castleford at all you know in this game uh, five missed tackles you know errors uh, one uh, a penalty given away the Castleford faithful just not feeling Gareth Widdop at the moment you know and, and, and quite rightly so as well not playing well at all. Uh, Broadbent for me looks far better. I mean, a shout out must go to, to Mello in the centres. He had a fine game, you know, 159 metres from 19 carries, two tries for his troubles. Brilliant Westerman doing what Westerman does, setting two up during the course of the game. They really need to make a decision on, on Westerman for me. Castleford can ill afford to lose him. And of course, for Imo, uh, two tries and an assist for Farimo, one of the best winger displays despite being on the losing team, you know, 142 metres for 19 carries for Farimo as well. So, yeah, I think there's lots to think about there for Castleford. You know, how can it be that you lose your full-back and your, your standoff uh, very early on in the second half, uh, of course, when Widdick went off, and you win the second half, 16 points to 12? It's unbelievable, isn't it? I think he needs to be really considering long and hard what that spine needs to look like going forward because there's obviously points there. I mean, some would argue that, the game was over and Catalan took the foot off the gas. And maybe that's right. I don't know. I wasn't there, you know. But looking at social media, a lot of Castleford fans really disappointed with his performance. Uh, very, very poor indeed. As for Catalan, yet again, a very fine win for the Dragons. They're playing some good rugby league, aren't they, this season. You've got to give them a lot of credit, and rightly so. Uh, that one, of course, their second win, having beaten St. Helens the week prior, uh, so they'll be feeling good. But, of course, next up for them, a really mouth-watering game that's not on the telly. Can you believe it? Catalan Dragons hosting the Warrington Wolves in the Challenge Cup. That's going to be a belter this weekend, without question. When they return, they've got Wakefield Trinity, so you would not expect Castle uh, Catalan to be anywhere less than fourth when uh, the end of round 13 comes about. Of course, they're sitting comfortably in fourth at the moment. As for Casford, remain second bottom. It's still only four points. Still, for me, you know... There's hope for Wakefield. Castleford are not playing well. We keep saying it. That wakey Castleford game could be interesting. Um, it's not over down there. Castleford need to really get a wriggle on, or else when we get to the business end of the season, they could be in trouble. We keep saying it, and they're not. They're not proving me wrong at the moment. As for Castleford, well, of course they've got. Uh, an interesting game at home to Hull FC in the Challenge Cup. That one will be good. That one, of course, being televised. And then they go away to Huddersfield. Huddersfield not in good form either. That's a massive game as well in its own right. Both of those two teams are going to be wanting to, to bounce back. But this was all about the Catalan Dragons. Give credit where it is due to the men from Perpignan. Outstanding stuff. They're looking a bit of a unit, aren't they? Good up front. Some fantastic, exciting backs. It's great to see Arthur Morgue as well now at full back. It looks like that's been cemented when uh, you know Tomkins now playing in the in the halves and uh, you know Morg's in really good form as well for Catalan the back line looks superb uh, really good middle unit as well Catalan will be worrying many and tell you now that game against Warrington at the weekend two sides of course 
who uh, had a really close encounter earlier in the season in Perpignan. Well, I'll tell you now, do not be surprised if the Dragons go through on that one. But yeah, this, again, disappointing to performance for Castleford. They need to be getting a, a wriggle on. Has Andy Last actually won a game? I think he might win the Wakefield game. I'm trying to remember. Did, did he have the full-time job at that point? I don't know if he did. I'm, I'm questioning myself, but that's four on the spin now. Losses for Castleford. And I think Andy Last, since being permanent coach, He's yet to record a win. Lots to think about if you're a Tiger. Castleford Tigers 22, the Catalan Dragons 46. Don't forget to comment, subscribe. That's been in the show.